Good evening, Mr. Mayor, City Council. Um, my name is Joe Pachowski. I'm a resident of Wood Ranch here in Simi Valley. I'm back here tonight because the City Council has so far failed to hold Council, uh, Councilwoman Luevanos accountable for her Facebook video uh, that's divided our city. And because I sat here at the last council meeting and watched the Councilwoman disparage a local business by claiming an ice raid took place while encouraging our mayor to contact store management. Well, he did, and no such raid took place. So apparently, there's no truth in Ruth. Prior to the last meeting, I had to cut some of my com intended comments short to fit the allotted three minutes. So I'm going to mention some things I cut from then. I'm the great grandson of, of proud Polish and Italian immigrants, and I'm proud of my family's heritage. My great grandparents on both sides of my family went through Ellis Island legally, the right way. They learned English, albeit with heavy Polish and Italian accents, and they became proud American citizens. I don't know if any of them were detained on Ellis Island because I never had the opportunity to ask them. But from visiting Ellis Island, I know that a lot of Polish and Italian immigrants most certainly were. You might even call that our first detention center. It certainly wasn't a concentration camp. While the Councilwoman's use of concentration camps is obviously still stuck in my craw, it's a violation of the city's code of ethics without so much as an apology and the misinformation provided at the last council meeting uh, that still has yet to be apologized for that really bothers me. Additionally, I recently learned that Councilwoman Luevanos uh, violated our, <laughs> our city municipal code five times prior to being elected last year. She failed to file late, uh, late disclosures, of late, uh, disclosures of late contribution reports, and she failed to file uh, late expenditure reports, as required by uh, Section 2-5-10 of the uh, Simi Valley Municipal Code. As if, not, as if that's not enough, there's more. She also violated Section 2-5.9 of the Municipal Code again in the first half of this year, by accepting an illegal campaign contribution from Sandra Crane of Arlington, Virginia on January 3rd of this year. This pattern of unethical conduct has to stop and that's why in addition to again asking the council to put a censure on, the, on, a, on a future agenda, I'm here to serve the councilwoman with a notice of intention to recall. The people of our community deserve to have someone who will not misrepresent herself publicly will not lie about the actions of law enforcement in our community, and will adhere to, this, uh, to the municipal code when it comes to proper campaign finance reporting. Thank you. Thank you. Mary. Uh, me, do you want to approach? Yes, please. Uh, you, can, you can add it to the clerk. That's the copy for the councilwoman. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm serving her. <laughs> 